Merced Park, ready to celebrate promotion to the Premier Division. A win over Air United was the only requirement from the boys in blue, and they did it in some style. The commentator is Jock Brown. Six of that team are 23 years old or less as Ali McLeod builds a new team for a promotion attempt next season. The average age of the back four is just over 20, and they'll have a severe test today. But they do have just a little experience behind them in Alan Ruff, who makes his first team debut, replacing the regular keeper David Purdy, who's been excused to be best man at his ball as well. And a major threat to St. John's and hopeful come from Henry Templeton, who's already demonstrated his substantial talents for the Scotsport cameras. He is a superb entertainer. And St. Johnston are still without their skipper and left back Don McVicker, who's out through suspension. But otherwise, that's a full strength lineup which will operate its familiar attacking 4 3 3 formation. And it's a new experience for Paul Hegarty, chasing promotion after so many years, chasing awards at home and abroad for Dundee United and Scotland. Alan Moore costs St. Johnston £80,000 when he signed from Hearts, but he's proved to be an invaluable asset in the promotion push. And the referee this afternoon is Mr. George Smith from Edinburgh, who will be the Scottish World Cup representative in Italy. So the United start the vital match as far as St. Johnston are concerned. And you be sure that United are not here to make up the numbers. They're very determined indeed to make an impression, especially with promotion a major hope for next season with all those youngsters on the side. Gillespie kept the ball in play only for the benefit of trainer. Here's Masquey. He's done of that by Evans, but the referee has given the free kick against the air midfield player, formerly with Clyde. And referee George Smith is having a word with Evans. Trainer's free kick. Take it, he helped it on. A shot from Alan Moore, well blocked by Ruff. Well, that was very close for St. Johnston. The ball played on there. Look at that little head flick from Hegarty. The defensive would see there as Cherry came in. It was Moore with a shot in the turn, and that was excellent goalkeeping. Sammy Johnston's corner. Well done again by Barron. Here's Cherry. Another chance for Ayr in the break with Tommy Rice. Templeton calls for the ball on the far side. McGuinness is the covering player. He's in trouble. He's a chance on now for yeah, United. And the save comes from Balovic. Templeton taking advantage of that slip from Gary McGuinness. Playing the ball in with a lot of power, but Balovic was well positioned. Corner to air. Johnson almost being punished for so many players forwards. Away by Barron. Back with Wilson. Another away by McGuinness. And a fine effort there from Tommy Rice. An acrobatic overhead effort. That certainly could easily have caught out goalkeeper Balavage. That's one from Moore to chase. That's good control from Moore. And the challenge came from Graham Gilmore, but Alan Moore already proving to be a serious threat for the air defence. Played in by Heddle. Touched away by Ruff. Mastry was waiting for that. Here's McGuinness. Played away by Evans. Here's Roddy Grant. He's onside. Too high there for Mastry and... Moore shot is scrambled away by Ross and Johnston maintaining the pressure. Good play this by Roddy Grant. You see the cross is a shade too high there for Steve Mastray. There's a first time effort from Moore and Ruff made heavy work of that. Trainer trying to get to the ball ahead of McCracken. Moore is onside. Stepping away from Wilson. Grant is in the middle. So is Masquerey, and the clearance came from Smythe. He was very quick indeed, the big defender. McCracken turning it forwards. 
Here's Johnston. Brought to the deck there by Evan. Dorothy allows play to continue, then changes his mind and gives the free kick. Thinking about using the advantage rule. Stevie Evans was the culprit with that late tackle. Put in by Johnston. As Grant. Break of the ball came off. Heddle, right back to Ruff. He's still here finding it immensely difficult to get players forward. Well won by Johnston. A good turn by Grant. And the far side is Heddle. Mastery waits in the middle. Well, Mastery had made a run to the near post area just as Heddle released that cross. Trainer playing it back to Barron. And St. Johnston does a great credit, deploying only three at the back against the two air attackers. Pushing Gary McGuinness into the middle of the field. There's Johnston. Now Trainer. Away from Evans. Now Johnston. Trying to make room for a shot. Good play by Johnston. And the interception was made by Brown. He's in trouble though. This is Cherry. Now Grant into space there for Heddle. The early cross, there's Johnston for Mastray. And Grant. And still it will not go for St. Johnston in front of goal. They really are putting the air defence through the mill. Good run this from Heddle. The ball flighted across. First chance was for Johnston. Then Mastray. Then the break of the ball on the angle for Grant. Trainer's header. Moore's in behind Kennedy. That's a good recovery tackle. Mark Trainer allowed to go forward on the right as far as he wants when St. Johnston have possession. Brown couldn't keep that in play. That's another corner kick to St. Johnston. And Johnston may be reaching a stage where they're a bit concerned about the fact they've had so much of the play without getting the opening goal. Roddy Grant will be a threat in the air and uh, for the air defence, as will Paul Hegarty. Punched away well by Ruff under pressure. Out to Johnston. Air pushing out very rapidly indeed. That's a good interception by Bryce. Templeton's all in his own up front for here at the moment. He's away from Cherry. Good play by Templeton. They're going to be waving play on. And it's Barron who heads to safety. Henry Templeton proving himself once again to be virtually a one-man attack. Showing a lot of strength as well as skill as he came forward there. And that was a good piece of refereeing by George Smith. To allow that to continue, could so easily have given a free kick. And it was Barron to St. Johnston's rescue. Good turn to make space for himself. That was intended for Moore. So a throw to air, which Kennedy will take. And Kraken helps it on. Well judged by McGuinness. And they rise back in the midfield role now. Cherry finds Johnston. This is Masgray. He's away from Gillespie. And there's the header. Paul Cherry for St. Johnston. The goal's been coming for some time. And Paul Cherry delivers it for that superb header. It was a great move from St. Johnston. The pass from Sammy Johnston released early. Could he lose it running there by Steve Masgray away from Gillespie? Going for the byline, chipping it back beyond Alan Ruff. And there was Cherry with the goal is Massey. The goal number four of the season for Cherry. 22 minutes gone, St. Johnston ahead. And that's thoroughly merited. And there's Grant beating the ball well by young Alan Gillespie. Impetus has gone out of the St. Johnson performance since that opening goal. There's McGuinness again getting away from Templeton. 
And there goes Tash whenever he had a possession is to look after Templeton. It's a mark of respect for the little striker. Back and getting away from Hegarty, but not from Baran. A penalty kick has been awarded over the last for that challenge by Doug Baran. Well, Doug McCracken caused all the problems here as the ball came in. Was headed away in the first instance high in the air by Baron. McCracken getting away from Hegarty, that neat little touch. In came Baron, and that was a clear penalty. Superb opportunity here for the United. It's Tommy Bryce who'll take this penalty. Comes back out from the post. There's Evans. And blocked once again. St. Johnston have survived. There's an offside flag up on the far side. Whoa, what drama here at Somerset Park. The penalty kick from Bryce. Touched onto the post by Balavis. That was an incredible save. And Stevie Evans with a shot, which was blocked inside the box. Moore inside for Cherry. Going forward himself, allowing Evans to make that recovery challenge. Beautifully done by Templeton. He's caught late by his shadow, Gary McGuinness. Free kick is given to Ayr. Brown's free kick. Well won by Hegarty. Superb timing in the air. And a good save from Balavis once again. Kenny Wilson's shot. And that bounced very awkwardly indeed just in front of the keeper. Well, John Balavis hasn't been much involved in the play this afternoon, but he's now made two great saves for my money. This one here is the ball broke to Kenny Wilson. Bouncing awkwardly there. Bouncing high and Balavis saved. to Wilson run attempted there by Bryce police still by Paul Hegarty the throw goes to St. Johnston there's Cherry Right wide there by McCracken for Bryce. Back it goes to Wilson. And another good effort from Kenny Wilson. Oh, almost 30 yards out. He let fly with the left foot there. And this is a very fine attempted goal once again from Kenny Wilson. The ball was worked inside there. It came back to Wilson. 30 yards out, and that is very nearly on the crossbar. To the header, there's Templeton. Now oh, Wilson, they're taking a lot of encouragement here. There's McCracken, a great chance for McCracken! And Air coming with it, inches once again. The big striker who earned the penalty kick again, causing problems. Coming inside, Paul Hegarty, the cover wasn't there. And McCracken with a goal is mercy, drives it wide. Good running by Moore for the return pass. He was left there by Wilson. And the tackle didn't get the ball out. Brown blocked it and conceded a corner kick. Fine wing play again from Alan Moore. Near post ball this time. Played back from that area by Grant. And there goes the half-time whistle. To Johnson leading. One goal ahead, scored by Paul Cherry, and it came after a sustained spell of pressure midway through the first half. A great pass from Sammy Johnston, Masquerade going towards the byline, pulling over the perfect cross for Cherry to bullet home the header. But it was John Balavage who kept St. Johnston ahead with one of the finest saves I've seen this season from the Tommy Bryce penalty kick. So the half-time score at Somerset Park, Air United nil, St. Johnston won. Welcome back to Somerset Park here. St. Johnston 
no doubt believing are just 45 minutes away from guaranteeing Premier Division football for McDermott Park this season. But he has certainly made it clear in the first half. They will do anything possible to prevent that. There's Ronnie Grant. That would surely have finished it. A superb move from St Johnston. The cross beating the air defence. Grant coming in at point blank range here. Rough is crouched on the line. And Grant at full stretch managed to hook that wide. Great chance for Grant. Alan Moore taken late by Kennedy. Free kick to St Johnston. The referee will have a word with young David Kennedy before the free kick is taken. Well, St Johnston with a very sharp, incisive start to the first half. Threatened to blow it away, but it's been different since then. There's a deflection, and once again, the air goal leading a charm life. A shot from Roddy Grant once again being deflected. Did well in the turn here. Sent that shot, which came off Robert Brown, surely should have been a corner kick. He only just made that. It's well won by Evans. Cherry gets it back for St. Johnston. There's Gary McGuinness. Here's Cherry. Tackled well by Brown. That's a corner kick. And a fine header again from Roddy Grant. He really has had a splendid match up front. And he gets up superbly to this corner kick. Turning the ball towards goal just about six inches too high. Rice plays it square, looking for David Smythe to judge that very well indeed. Brian Ross calls for the ball ahead of him. Has to turn back though to win possession. Inside is Evans. Turned away by Barron. Good play again from Wilson. Whistled for an infringement against Wilson, who appeared to be a little bit reckless after it was clear he had lost possession. Wilson is one for his involvement there, although he has played very well for here. That's beyond. Kennedy for Moore, across it goes to Musgrave, and Musgrave makes it! Lightning fast reflexes from Steve Musgrave. 58 minutes of the second half, and the match gone, and St. Johnston now look to be guaranteed the championship of the first division. The ball driven in there by Moore. This is a great initial save from Alan Roth. Look how quickly there Musgrave reacted to turn that in. Scoring the 11th goal of the season. Well, Masquerie should now put the championship secure for St. Johnston. Johnston has now departed. Harry Curran has gone on during all those celebrations. Curran's gone on to play in midfield for St. Johnston. And again, fast braiding on the flank and deadly finishing in the middle has paid off. Johnston. There's Steve Evans hoisting in the cross. Ross was there. There's Templeton and Balavage again with a magnificent save. Henry Templeton can scarcely believe that. The ball played in high. It was knocked across there by Ross into the path of Templeton. And what a great save it was from Balavage. committed to get a punch to that brought down well by Templeton he's robbed instantly by Cherry 
Evans at Evans. The same happened in the first half when St. Johnston scored. Ayr seemed to move up a gear to try to get back in terms. They're doing that again. Balovic coming for that. He managed to block the shot from Wilson. Now St. Johnston has space to exploit. Moore on the right. Cherry through the middle. And that was intended to be a return pass for Alan Moore. Here's Moore going through the middle now. A chance for the third. Moore's pace taking him through. And then it goes back to Curran. And Brown clears up for Ayr, but it was excellent goalkeeping by Alan Roth as Kenny Wilson breaks now for Ayr. Tackled well by Hegarty. And a foul by Kenny Wilson. Free kick goes to St. Johnston. But what outstanding goalkeeping there from Alan Roth as Roddy Grant set up Alan Moore going through the middle for St. Johnston, sprinting clear, using his pace to get through the defence. Roth standing up his full height, narrowing the angle and making the block. Tommy Bryce shuffling there to get away from Curran. Now taking on Hegarty. Free kick against Hegarty, yes. Caught Bryce as he came inside. Approaching his 36th birthday, Paul Hegarty. Tremendous professional. Now has to face this free kick from Henry Templeton. Good header on the run. Well taken there by Balavage. The run from Gillespie and from Ross not picked up. Played in there by Templeton. Two air players running for this ball. It appeared to be Gillespie who got the header in, but Balavage are in the right spot. Evans and Cherry have had some tough tussles in the middle of the field this afternoon. Two determined competitors. Here's Grant. Won the corner kick. From the challenge made by Alan Gillespie. You can see Ian Heddle going across there, but not with any great urgency. A two goal cushion. This result will take St. Johnson back to the big time. Here's Moore. to St. Johnston. Driven ball, and Ruff took it well. Could easily have been put off there by Roddy Grant, who was just in front of him, trying to get a touch. The ball drilled in low. There was Grant, who didn't get to the ball, and Ruff did well. The players all seem to realise this match is over. There's no question of playing out the time. David Kennedy penalised there. Going to be another chance for St. Johnston from the free kick. The photographers below is crowding round Alec Totten in the St. Johnston dugout. And readiness for the final whistle as Trainer plays it across. It's chested away by Bryce for a corner kick. Photographer on the right. Alec Totten can barely see the match at the moment. He's waiting for the first pictures of the St. Johnston manager when the whistle goes. Here's Heddle with an in-swinging corner kick. It's punched away by Ruff. Here's Kenny Ward. Blocked well by Bryce. And there goes the final whistle. St. Johnston have won the first division. 